Well, I've been in the franchise business for actually since 1989. Uh, we opened our first uh, Fast Signs franchise in 1989 in Beaumont, Texas. And so, it was actually our Fast Signs builder up that told us about Plato's Closet. Yeah, Julie, I have to give her the credit for this because uh, we had a we had a field rep to come in to visit from Fast Signs. Well, he's got into this clothing business like for teenagers. And, and two so week, two weeks before our daughter was 15, I had taken out just clothes, I mean bags of her clothes. I was mad that there was no place for him to go. And when he spoke it, I think within six months we opened, we went directly, directly to Discovery Days and opened that store in Baton Rouge. So we opened our first store in 2003, and honestly, during that first initial years, Julie was much more involved in that business than me. But over time, I just, the business continued to grow and grow to where it finally got my attention. Like, this is, this is a business. I realized like, okay, why don't we look at expanding this? I tell people now, it's, it's kind of funny, is that, you know, now we have a business from Once Upon a Child to Playos Closet to Style Encore. I like to tell people that we, we have a business, we have a customer now that's from cradle to grave. I literally, there's many days, I just sit outside of our, our yeah. shopping center there in Baton Rouge and just watch, watch the customers literally take a bag into Once Upon a Child, go back out to their car, go into Play-Dohs, go back out to their car and go into style. They literally will shop That's at exciting. all three locations. That really is exciting. Yeah. I've never had a second thought about Winmark. That's why we are part of a franchise. The beautiful thing is that these people they talk to over a thousand franchisees. And then all that knowledge that they're, be, they're able to accumulate and to be able to disperse to me, that's invaluable. That's what the franchisor gives you is like, hey, there's some guardrails. We're gonna let you run, but try to stay between these guardrails. Cause if you get past those guardrails, you're gonna get in the ditch. Whatever they say that you need to do, then I wanna do that. I don't wanna try to- We don't have to reinvent it. I don't have to reinvent the wheel here. You get in business for yourself. Everybody has different reasons why they get in business for themselves. My, my reasons never were to make as much money as possible. My reasons were is that I wanted to be able to have freedom. Because at the end of the day, I mean, what are you really, I mean, what's the definition of success? Is it, is it money in your bank account? Or is it having a family that really loves you? We're gonna to continue to grow. I, you know, I'm just, by nature, I'm an entrepreneur. And so I'm always, I love challenges. I'm bringing on a partner that I'm investing in to allow him to grow the business. In our first franchise, that's, that's the way we got started. At 23, we were the working partner, yeah. and we are able today to give that, or, give that opportunity to someone else. That, really, that's success right there. You just, you're, you're paying it forward. Other people are getting blessed. I do blessed. adore him, I adore him. <laughs>